teach we are to find. So where you lead me, I will go. Touch my lips by your strength, I will go. I will go. My eyes have seen the King. I must tell all the world, worship Him. In all the nations, in all the world, where He sends me, yes, I will go. I will go. Welcome to a youth week of prayer morning devotional. Today's devotion is entitled Finding Healing and Hope. The key text comes from Psalms 34 17 to 18, and it says, The righteous cries out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirits. In the bustling cities of the world, amidst the noise and chaos, there are hearts burdened by invisible struggles mental challenges that often go unnoticed. During the urban rush, God's presence shines brightest in the lives of those who wrestle with mental health challenges. The Bible reveals that even those who are faithful to God face moments of despair, anxiety, and overwhelming circumstances. Elijah, overcoming isolation and despair. Elijah, a powerful prophet of God, faced a time of deep desolation and mental anguish. In 1 Kings 19, we find him fleeing from threats and collapsing beneath his burden. However, amidst his struggle, God met him in a gentle whisper, assuring him that he was not alone. Just as God provided sustenance, comfort, and purpose for Elijah, he walks alongside us in our darkest moments, bringing comfort and direction. David, finding strength in vulnerability. King David, a man after God's own heart, 
poured out his emotions and vulnerabilities in the Psalms. In Psalms 42, David expressed his longing for God amidst his inner turmoil. Yet, his honesty paved the way for a renewed sense of trust and hope in God's unfailing love. We too can lay bare our hearts before the Lord, confident that he hears our cries and provides us the strength to endure. Paul, transformed by grace. The Apostle Paul, renowned for his unwavering faith, also spoke of his thorn in his flesh, a struggle that caused him great distress in 2 Corinthians 12. Paul shares how God's grace sustained him, teaching him the power of Christ's strength in weaknesses. Just as God's grace transformed Paul, it continues to work in us, offering solace and strength to navigate the challenges of mental health that can be present. We can be anchored in hope. Our struggle does not define us. They are part of our journey. Just as the dawn follows the darkest moments, hope shines through our difficulties. The Bible is filled with promises of restoration, renewal, and healing. Jeremiah 29 11 reminds us that God has a plan for our future, plans filled with hope. Let us cling to those promises as we navigate the challenges of mental health. As we minister to those facing mental health challenges in our cities, let us remember that the Bible is a testament of God's compassion and understanding. Through the stories of Elijah, David, Paul, and countless others, we witness how God's light shines brightest in our moments of weakness. Ask yourself, how can we extend a hand of compassion and assurance to those struggling with mental health problems? How can we show them that they are not alone? Lord, I pray that you guide us in the path of compassion and patience. Help us reach those that are struggling with their own and provide a sense of love and hope. Just as God made the brokenhearted and weary with grace and hope, may we be vessels of his love, bringing healing and restoration to the hearts that need it most. Help us feel your presence and guidance wherever we go as we help others in need. Amen.